I'm going to use 100 VMs to process 35 gigabytes of satellite images using Coiled Batch. It's going to take five minutes and cost less than 75 cents. I have a script here that works locally. It downloads images from S3, reprojects them using GDAL, and then uploads them back to S3. I have more than 3,000 of these files, and they're all uh, on separate lines like this. Batch is really well suited to embarrassingly parallel jobs, and with the map over file argument, it's really easy to process thousands of inputs. Let's look at our script. We have some comments for coiled. We specify the region where to run our code so we can avoid egress fees, the number of workers to start, and their memory, and then we use a publicly accessible uh, container, but we could use a private one. And we forward our AWS credentials so we have the permission to write to an S3 bucket when we're done. We ensure we have the AWS CLI installed and use it to copy data to the VM. We reproject the data using GDAL, and then we move the data back to S3 when we're done. With the power of editing, we're five minutes later on the Coiled dashboard. The dashboard shows us everything that happened while our job was running. We have a list of tasks here, one for each of the files that we submitted. We can click here and see a view of the metrics and the logs while that file was being processed. We see the code that we submitted, metrics aggregated across all VMs, and then logs for aggregated across all VMs as well. And we can filter them to see only what happened during that time. At the top, we have a timeline of all the VMs and their state as we processed. It took about a minute or two to get started and then another couple of minutes to execute our jobs. And finally, we see it took five and a half minutes to process our 35 gigabytes of data and cost one cent more than 75 cents.